If I see a patient with a squint, uh, the treatment depends on the cause and what the problem is. So if the problem is cosmetic and there is no diplopia, uh, which is more common in people who have had squints in childhood and had surgery in childhood but the squint has drifted, then in most cases the treatment is surgical. Uh, and that involves an operation uh, which is a general anaesthetic, a light general anaesthetic, and the procedure lasts about 40-45 minutes. And what one does is operate on the muscles of the eyes, which are like little elastic bands, uh, and you're tightening and loosening the elastic bands to alter the alignment of the eye. Uh, and the procedure uh, afterwards is uh, a little bit, uh, leaves the eye a little bit sore and irritable uh, for, for three or four days, but that settles over a period of a couple of weeks. Uh, and the success rate of that surgery in aligning the eyes is excellent. Occasionally, uh, surgery isn't appropriate, uh, and one would use botulinum toxin injections. Uh, and interestingly, botulinum toxin, uh, which now we all know is used uh, cosmetically, was first ever used in squint surgery. Uh, and there was an American in San Francisco who essentially invented botulinum toxin uh, for the use of squint. Uh, and it's uh, ever since then that it's become widespread in uh, other areas. If the squint is causing double vision, uh, then it may simply be uh, that you can correct that with prisms in glasses. So if the misalignment of the eyes is small, uh, one can uh, incorporate prisms in glasses and that would control the double vision as long as the glasses are being worn. If the size of the squint is large, then the prisms become too thick in the glasses uh, and surgery may then be indicated, or less commonly botulinum toxin.